teaching multiplication to upper kindergarten children. Take six or eight or ten objects or counters. It could be bean seed, tamarind seed, beads, blocks or even small pebbles. Then take three to four small paper bowls. Prepare number cards one to eight or if you want it could be even from one to ten and have three math symbol cards equals multiplication symbol and the addition symbol. Now give the child the first problem which is 2 multiplied by 2 equals what? Now get the learner to understand how multiplication is nothing but repeated addition. So the second two symbolizes the two bowls and into those two bowls they are going to put two counters. So each of these two bowls will have two counters, two objects. So two objects multiplied into two means it is repeated addition two times. So they put two counters into the first bowl and then they put two counters into the second bowl. Then they need to take all the counters from bowl one and put it in the third bowl and all the counters in bowl two and put it into the third bowl. Then get the count learner to count the number of seeds or counters in the third bowl and to write the answer. Keep repeating this same activity until the child understands the concept 2 multiplied by 2 means repeated addition of two objects two times. You can now vary the number of counters and give the child the multiplication problem 4 multiplied by 2 equals what? So here the child needs to understand I need to put 4 counters into 2 bowls. That means 4 has to be added twice. So let the child put 4 counters into the first bowl and then 4 counters into the second bowl. Then let the child take all the counters in bowl 1 and bowl 2 and put them into bowl 3. Count them and write the answer to 4 into 2. Continue in this way with different numbers until the child understands what multiplication means. Multiplication is nothing but repeated addition. So here is the template and you can increase the number of bowls depending on how many numbers need to be multiplied by how many numbers. So keep doing this hands-on activity until the learner understands the concept of multiplication thoroughly and then you could go to the exercises given from pages 145 to 147 in the CFT math book second steps in math. Always remember when teaching mathematics a child needs to do hands-on activities before it can replicate the same activity on a worksheet or a book. Thank you.